So in the UK, the government's always trying to take your money. They say you need to chip in, despite them giving you no value for your money. And it's the same with a TV licence. So today I took the steps to cancel my £159 a year contribution to the BBC scam. I'm going to tell you why I did it, and then I'll show you how surprisingly easy it all was. And then we'll talk about the next steps, and when I should expect an inspector at my front door. And on one hand, I don't think people should have to pay it, but on the other, I've been paying it despite not watching live TV, or even the BBC. So I don't use the service, so I don't really need to pay it. But if you do use the service, because this is YouTube after all, I'd probably advise just to pay the licence, otherwise you could be inviting legal trouble. And if you have any tips about how to deal with the BBC, then let me know in the comments, because I have a feeling quite a few of you don't pay the TV licence. And if you are still paying the BBC, then maybe I can encourage you to do the same as myself because thousands of people are going to see this video so we could make a decent dent in the BBC and its billions. And the BBC don't like it when you play with their monopoly because they know how good they've got it. They earn billions every year from people like you and me and we shouldn't have to pay a penny. It's a prehistoric tax that nobody wants because people don't watch much BBC these days and even when they do I'm pretty sure you'd prefer to see an advert much rather than £159 flying out your wallet. So all I needed was my TV licence number, which I found in an old renewal email, and I went to this website, which I'm going to link in the description. I put all of my details in, and it took about two minutes to do. And surprisingly, that's all the information they needed. They asked for my licence number, and if I actually use the service, and it makes sure that I'm aware that they'll send people to my door to hassle me, because it makes you click about two or three boxes next to some pretty intimidating comments. And I'm pretty sure I'll expect a letter soon with some snotty comments on it about how I need to pay my way. And with the visits, the plan on what to do when I actually see a BBC inspector is pretty simple. I'm just not going to open the door. I've been watching a YouTuber who's pretty informative on the old TV licence situation. He's called Chili John Khan and I'll leave a link in the description. But essentially, the BBC don't have any powers. They can't stick your foot in the door, neither can they enter your house without permission. So when you tell them to leave your property, they gotta leave your property. And I think I'm gonna get a visit every six to 12 months, but people in the comments tell me that they get a visit every two to five years, if that. So it's all pretty annoying. But then again, so is paying £159 a year for a service that I don't use. Because nobody watches the BBC anymore. You turn it on every six months, you get told that white people are bad, and then you turn it off again. And if you do end up cancelling your licence as a result of this, you're not alone. Because during 2022, about two million people stopped paying their TV licence altogether. Together, meaning that they got a long list to get through before they get to you and me. And we saw the other day how they spent £7 million updating their free letter logo, so they think it's all as much of a joke as we do, so why not? But something that isn't a joke is this video here where we looked at the worst headlines of 2022, and it really, really is horrific. So thank you for subscribing, thank you to the channel members, and I'll see you in the next one.